Hello folks, I hope you're having just the best day in your life. Well, congratulations, we reached a thousand subs. And so this is my special video um, to celebrate the fact that, hey, we hit a nice round number for you. So what I wanna talk about today, well today I wanna look at my, to do a little bit of a retrospective. Looking back at my channel, what are my top five favorite videos that I've posted um, and um, these are gonna all not none of these none of these are gonna be reviews uh, and so some of them are gonna be earlier things that I did that weren't reviews some of them are gonna be later um, but none of these are actually gonna be reviews they're gonna be other videos that I posted and that I really really enjoyed uh, so we're gonna be looking at my top five favorite videos I'll also link you in the comments below to each of them so you can just go ahead and review them from five to one all right so let's go ahead and get started with number five and number five is my appendix N okay so uh, in order to give you the context, um, in, in the late 70s, uh, Dungeons and Dragons was created, uh, in the mid 70s, Dungeons and Dragons was created, but in the late 70s, uh, the Advanced Dungeons and Dragons game was created by Gary Gygax. Um, and in his first ed ed um, uh, edition of the Dungeon Master's Guide, in the back, he puts um, this uh, thing that in, in, under appendix and where he lists all the influences of the game and himself. Um, and as a, a starting, uh, and as a springboard for you to read, if you're interested in checking out uh, more about the stuff, and it's these, and then he has you know just a number of various things in there in appendix and that were hugely influential on him as a kid uh, from a number of genres, but usually fantasy, um, and includes everything from Michael Moorcock to uh, Roger Zelazny uh, to uh, Robert E. Howard, for example. And J.R.R. and Tolkien. So it includes a number of these big name writers and also includes some lesser known writers too, like John Belair's. Uh, so you can check these out uh, and go and do, do a deep dive into these, these guys. And so for my own, inspired by that concept of this, these are the most iconic things i created a video where i took up my 10 most iconic things um, in my own life uh, that have been a big big hit, big hit for me and they include major things like michael moorcock uh, and tolkien um, and some lesser known things uh, like uh, the lords of dust by um, uh, lawrence watt evans which i reviewed for you here those four books uh, or uh, the complete book of swords by Fred Sabrehagen. So um, I've I've had several uh, several things on there that are very very hugely influential on me as a modern reader, writer, uh, and person. Uh, so I called it my appendix, and definitely want to check it out. All right. So what's in my number four video? So my number four video is a more recent one that I wrote, and it's called Of Solomon Cain and My Love Thereof. Uh, this is a video that I published where I look at uh, the character Solomon Cain by Robert E. Howard, um, and I do a deep dive into where my love for the character comes from. Uh, from the comics, uh, from the care, from, from the, from the, uh, uh, the, the stories that are read for you by Robert E. Howard, and I've actually done a deep dive into Solomon Cain for you, um, and I've actually reviewed every single Solomon Cain story uh, for for you guys, and uh, really enjoyed that uh, by 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 the great Robert E. Howard. So uh, this is definitely <laughs> a, a great character. Uh, he's somebody I love a lot. The dual wielding, uh, uh, the the pistolier uh, with with the uh, pilgrim hat uh, from uh, from the uh, uh, guy and he's just he's just so great and just such a lot of fun and I really enjoy him uh, So in number four video there is uh, of, of Solomon Cain and my love thereof and where that and tracing that where that comes from for you All right, so that's my number four video. What's my number three video? My number three video is also uh, by a character by Robert E. Howard and this is my oldest video in here, and it is Conan is the hero we've been waiting for. And what I did for my 50th video for you guys, I did a celebratory video. It's very different. It feels more like other videos that are out there. Um, it took me like hours for me to do it. Um, I wanted to get my feet wet. Uh, it's 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 a, it's a, it's, a, it's a video uh, rather than just me being recorded for a, a while, uh, where I have other things on the screen. Uh, and basically what I do um, is, 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 is I suggest that we have become the bad guys in a, in a, in a, um, in a, in a Robert E. Howard story. 
um, and particularly in a Conan story. And Conan um, is the hero that we're looking for um, that can come and help us out. Um, uh, Conan and, and is the um, is an anti-establishment character. He is um, somebody who fights for the savages. And in Robert E. Howard's sort of mythos, um, in most of his writings, uh, but also you definitely see this on, on display in the Conan writings, he is writing from the, uh, the, the central conflict is the noble savage, the noble uh, barbarian versus the decadent civilization. Um, and these are the Moors of the day. Um, and thus you see some very decadent uh, civilized places that Conan definitely doesn't like and fights against uh, in his stories. And so, uh, you know, we are the decadent civilization that Conan would fight against um, and, and would be against. Uh, and so I, I, wrote, I wrote a video called Conan is the Hero We've Been Waiting For. I like it a lot, and it's my third favorite video. And this is also two Robert E. Howard videos in a row, so that's pretty cool. Robert E. Howard's definitely somebody who's making the, making his 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 presence known on my list of my top five favorite videos. Alrighty, that's my number three video. But what's my number two video? So I did a short series for you, and my number two, my two review is Living with HD Revelations. I did a short series for you where I, I publish a video once a week about what it's like to live with Huntington's disease. And uh, I, I did that once a week. Um, my, my goal initially was to possibly create a separate channel where I did that um, once a week. Uh, but I just decided to do this part of this channel. I did it for about 17 or 18 weeks and got basically everything that I was thinking about from gaming to reading to recording this channel um, to living, adulting, uh, working, uh, and those sorts of things. So I did a lot of different videos as a part of this channel. Uh, but the first one in the series, Living with HD Revelations, um, is my opinion, uh, my favorite of this series, and probably the best one that I did. Um, so my number two favorite video for you guys that I've done, um, which is another review, is Living with HD Revelations. Now what's my number one video of all time? Alrighty, the number one video uh, uh, that I've done, in my opinion, is the four pillars of fantasy. Um, in my opinion, there are four pillars that have made modern fantasy. Um, and I look at each of these authors, Robert E. Howard, J.R. Tolkien, Michael Moorcock, and Gary Gygax. Uh, and I'll make the argument that modern fantasy has taken a lot of steps uh, from these four people. Um, and I will go over their four various contributions and how they are in modern fantasy. And you can't read modern fantasy without understanding the influence of these four modern pillars um, that, upon which uh, the foundation uh, of modern fantasy rests. Um, and so that's sort of my, uh, my, my, my favorite video that I've done for you, the four pillars that define modern fantasy. And that's it. Hey, thank you so much for watching my video. I really appreciate it. Um, if you enjoyed this video and you haven't subscribed yet, well, why not? You don't you want to know what my 100 and and uh, my my 1100 video is? I, I already have. I've already planned it, so because <laughs> that's who I am. Uh, but I'm not telling you until you see it. <laughs> uh, and so, so hit that subscribe button. Uh, also hit the like button too while you're at it for for you know YouTube's stuff. Uh, finally. Hey, I just, again, I just want to thank you for taking some time out of your day and watching my video all the way to the end. There's so many things happening in our lives, all right? And we're being pulled in so many different directions. So the fact that you spent this time with me is incredibly humbling, and I appreciate it. So thanks again, and have a great day.